welcome to another look photo link video this one is uh, part two on the QTP FS GUI um, HDR creation program um, basically uh, we have just created our HDR uh, in the that we did in the prior video we're looking at it now and what we're going to do is we're going to talk about it and then we're going to deal with it a little bit uh, the first thing that you might want to do this is a very large image and I'm going to resize the HDR and I'm going to make this uh, 1024 uh, by 682 and I'm going to scale it in fact I might even make it a slight bit smaller we're going to make it um, I will make it 700 and we're going to scale it okay now there is our HDR uh, scale the reason I scaled it is for speed now up here we have a, a bar with a histogram on it and we also have um, a gamma pull down <coughs> be advised that um, these are just for viewing purposes of the HDR they do not really change the HDR as it's saved or whatever uh, they're just for viewing purposes so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to my um, my okay I'm going to come up to my image menu and I'm going to tone map this HDR what this does is this goes into um, a tone mapping screen where I can select the TMO or the tone map tone mapping operator <coughs> Every time I talk in one of these things, I get a hoarse throat. Okay, I get the tone mapping operator, which I can select one of these tone mapping operators. And this window right here applies to the tone mapping operator. I can also down here select the results. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make it 512 by 340 is going to be my display results. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to select a tone mapping operator. We'll select Fatal, and um, sometimes I like to kick the um, noise reduction up to this to about a 10. And then what I'm going to do is apply it. Now here we have a tone mapped uh, HDR. Uh, basically you get the, uh, the abstract colors found in HDR with the Fatal operator. Um, each one of these has a different effect. Nothing is written in stone, but what you do is you basically call up any one of these, and then what you do is you uh, basically play with the sliders until you get the results that you like. Now what I can do now is I can come down and adjust the results of my level and my level in gamma to create the kind of effect that I want. So I'm going to move the black point over. See if we can grab it here. To darken the image up slightly. And also move the white point over. Now I want a little bit more of an abstract look. So I'm going to uh, give it more of the, uh, of uh, move the black point over more. Clip the blacks and possibly bring the whites over a little bit and there is my HDR now if I want to redo this what I need to do is before I change these uh, operators is cancel this window or I will get another window and I want to move this um, noise reduction up to about a 15 and also I'm going to raise my color saturation to about a 1, 2, 6. And now I'm going to apply this. And now what I can do here, move this over slightly so we can see the whole thing. is that I'm going to pull down my levels again and I'm 
going to adjust my black point over into here. Adjust the white point. I would take the white point back a little bit. And now we have a nice tone mapped um, um, LDR from the GUI or from the uh, HDR that we created before. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say OK. Now, uh, this pre-gamma adjustment on bringing in your uh, HDR sometimes has some bizarre results. Uh, also, there's very little documentation <coughs> on each one of these um, um, the TMOs or tone mapping operators. So what you basically have to do is play with them. You're probably going to get as good a results out of this program as um, uh, basically um, any of them out there. But the point of it is, is it's just slower and uh, the GUI is a little bit more confusing and also the um, <clears throat> the um, um, how do I say it the the GUI is a little bit more confusing um, it's a little bit slower and um, it's pretty much fly by the seat of your pants so at this point I'm going to stop this video and we're going to do another video on how you actually build the files for um, uh, Q, or QT uh, PFS GUI. And uh, thank you for watching.